my tarp held up. I have a puffy face today. It's eight o'clock. Um, I think I was walking until about 1.30. This is the last full day that I'll be out here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start getting everything packed up. I have 17 miles of uphill to get through. It's going to be a really long day today. Hopefully I make it because there's nowhere else to set up a hammock. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to do this again. And I don't know what the wind is going to be like, so... I'm surprised this held up. I already put mostly everything away except for the tarp. This has actually been a really nice setup. This is like is a great spot to just hang out and it's easy to act like leave and stuff and the tarp does a pretty good job just keeping the wind as long as it's angled properly. I set it up between two bushes like this, so all of the air that goes into the draft is like hopefully blocked by these bushes a little. It's not perfect, but you know, it helps. Can hear people on their ATVs, motorcycles, whatever. I don't know. I've heard a lot of different stuff going by. I'm surrounded by roads, pretty much, except for in that direction. It is pretty. I just passed said he recognized me from my YouTube videos <laughs> which is awesome I mean that's somebody that's actually out here was you know I helped them on their journey for in whatever way I don't you know I'm never quite sure but it's so nice so cool like both sides of this this is totally concrete they're just easy smooth miles Views are pretty neat. I really like this section. Made it to Cottonwood Creek Bridge. There's some hikers right down there. I spent a really long time here last time under that bridge. Siesta. Cottonwood Creek, still looking good. Just met a bunch of people. Well, I just met two people. They're sitting down there. Apparently there's a bunch of them that like did the flip to Tehachapi and now are now Sobos. So um, I'm expected to see another four or five people.
absolutely gorgeous. Some puppies. Just a few. Finally, all out of the wind farm. Oh my god, this is like the best rock. <sighs> I have about a mile, 1.2 mile to get up to Tyler Horse Canyon, and then um, after that, like most of my major climbing is done. Like, I have one more big climb this afternoon. That's the one I hope I can get done with before sunset. Um, but that would be completed in 9.3 miles from right here. So long way to go, but like, oh, this is such a nice break spot. I couldn't pass it up. Thank you for your service, Rock. This was a nice place for a break. Not a lot of wind down here. And there's a tent site like hidden back there. Okay. So I don't know any of these people that were here yesterday. <laughs> and I would walk 500 more. This is like, you know, the first 500 and something-ish miles. Two hours till sunset. And then I have like probably an hour of like, you know, the after sunset light that kind of still hangs around. So, um, but yeah, I would like to get up there by the time the sun sets. That's the goal. It is cold out, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm all bundled up now. It's really cold. 
it's gonna be in the 30s tonight. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking sleeping on the ground might be a smart move just because temperature regulation is easier for me that way, but we'll see.